What's up, everybody? So there's a new documentary on Netflix called What Jennifer Did. It's an extremely interesting watch. I definitely recommend checking it out, but it is a very disturbing watch. It is a very disturbing story. It's about a girl, Jennifer Pan, who hired people to kill her parents. Now, her mother did unfortunately die, but her father survived the attack. It talks about how Jennifer and her ex-boyfriend orchestrated the hit on her parents. They hired three people. One of their last names I cannot pronounce. His first name is David. Last name M-Y-L-V-A-G-A-N-A-M. -A -A as well as Lenford Crawford and Eric Carty. Those were the three men that were charged with entering the home and committing the murder and attempted murder. Now here's what's currently going on in Jennifer's case. In January 2015, Jennifer Pan was sentenced to life in prison with no parole for 25 years for first degree murder and life for attempted murder according to CBC, a Canadian news outlet. Her ex-boyfriend Wong, as well as David and Lenford, were also convicted and received life sentence with the possibility of parole after 25 years. After receiving, after initially receiving a mistrial, Eric Carty was sentenced to 18 years in prison in December of 2015. He died in jail in 2018. Jennifer is currently serving her life sentence at Grand Valley Institution for Women in Kitchener, Ontario, but her time in court is not over. In May 2023, the Court of Appeals for Ontario overturned the first-degree murder conviction for Pan and her three co-accused. The court dismissed the appeals on the attempted murder convictions. The court argued that the trial judge should have given the jury a chance to select second-degree murder and manslaughter as the verdict. As of August 2023, the Supreme Court of Canada is deciding whether or not to hear the appeal. This next part is... I can't imagine being her father in this situation. This had to be absolutely horrible. It talks about how her father was shot but remained conscious and saw his wife get killed, saw his daughter talking to the people responsible, couldn't hear what they were saying, but it, they, he said he stated it seemed like they knew each other. How horrible must that feel? Probably thinking that your daughter is about to die as well. You saw your wife get shot, but then see a conversation between your daughter and the people responsible, and they seemingly know each other. I could not imagine the feeling that her father was going through at that time. Just absolutely horrible. It must have been the wor obviously the worst feeling imaginable. Just absolutely horrific but that's what's going on in jennifer pan's case and her three co-defendants of course one of them died in prison in 2018 right now the canadian the supreme court of canada is deciding whether or not to hear the appeal the documentary also talks about how this wasn't even the first time she attempted this it talks about how allegedly 10 months before this she tried to hire somebody else to do the crime to break into her home and kill her parents and, and, and in the doc it talks about how she wanted to be the victim not her parents and things went wrong but watch the documentary let me know what you think what jennifer did on netflix let me know i hope you're having a good day and i will see you again soon